Hi, I'm Adam. Look at those chickens. They are walking in pairs. Hmm, I wonder how many chickens they are. One plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one. One. One plus one plus one plus one plus one. Hi Adam, what are you doing? Hi Aisha, I'm trying to count the chickens, but it's very confusing. Do you know that there's an easier way to count them? Come, let me show you how it's done. Okay. Two. Four. Six. See? Isn't that simpler? Friends, instead of adding over and over again, we can use multiplication. That means counting things in groups. Let's find out more about multiplication. Let's see how multiplication is used in our daily lives. Hmm, so many bananas. How do I count them? That's easy. Use multiplication. How? Don't worry, I'll show you. Remember, multiplication is the counting of things in groups. The symbol for multiplication is X. To count the bananas using multiplication, we have to look at the baskets first. How many baskets are there? Two baskets. How many bananas are in each of the baskets? Four bananas. So, if they are two baskets with four bananas in each of them, then they are eight bananas. Hmm, how did you get that number, Aisha? Let's learn to multiply. It's like this. 2 multiply 4 is equal to 8. So, they are 8 bananas all together. Do you understand, Adam? Okay, I get it. But Aisha, how did you get the answer so fast? Oh, we have to learn our multiplication table or times table to do that. Follow me, I'll show you. Multiplication table These are multiplication table charts. We have to memorize them to find answers quickly. Oh, that sounds easy. Let's look at the charts with the 2, 3, 4 and 5 times tables. OK, let's multiply by 2. 1 multiply 2 equals 2. 2 multiply 2 equals 4. 3 multiply 2 equals 6. 4 multiply 2 equals 8. That's how I counted the bananas so quickly. Oh, so that's how it done. Here's the rest of the 2 times table, Adam. 5 multiply 2 equals 10. 6 multiply 2 equals 12. 7 multiply 2 equals 14. 8 multiply 2 equals 16. 9 multiply 2 equal 18. Now, let's multiply by 3, 4 and 5. 1 multiply 3 equals 3. 2 multiply 3 equals 6. 3 multiply 3 equals 9. 4 multiply 3 equals 12. 
5 multiply 3 equal 15. 6 multiply 3 equal 18. 7 multiply 3 equal 21. 8 multiply 3 equal 24. 9 multiply 3 equal 27. One multiply four equal four. Two multiply four equal eight. Three multiply four equal twelve. Four multiply four equal sixteen. Five multiply four equal twenty. Six multiply four equal twenty-four. Seven multiply four equals twenty-eight. Eight multiply four equal thirty-two. Nine multiply four equals thirty-six. One multiply five equal five. Two multiply five equal ten. Three multiply five equal fifteen. Four multiply five equal twenty. Five multiply five equal twenty-five. Six multiply five equals thirty. Seven multiply five equal thirty-five. Eight multiply five equal forty. Nine multiply five equals forty-five. Well, friends, that wasn't too difficult, was it? I'm sure you are starting to get the picture now. Let's see how multiplication works in the world around us. Do you see those trees over there, Adam? Yes. They are three trees and they are three birds sitting in each tree. How many birds are there all together? Hmm, three trees and three birds. I'll have to use the three times table. Yes, you're right. Quick, tell me the answer. Hmm, three times three equals nine. That means they are nine birds all together. Is that correct, Aisha? Yes, that's correct. You learn fast, Adam. Yay! By now, I'm sure you have a good idea of what multiplication is. Let's put what you know into practice. Let's practice. Can you answer these questions? Good. The answer is 16. 4 multiplied by 4 is equal to 16. Let's try another one. Excellent. 5 multiplied 3 equals to 15. Now, let's see if you can answer a more difficult question. There are 8 bags in the classrooms. Each bag has 4 books in it. How many books are they all together? Yes, 8 multiplied by 4 is equal to 32. That means they are 32 books all together. I'm happy because you are doing so well with multiplication. It's fun, isn't it? I'm sure you want to try and solve a few more multiplication problems. So, I've prepared a few more for you. Here they come! Practice makes perfect. A four multiplied three equals to B six multiplied five equals to C four multiplied five equals to D nine multiplied three equals to and E eight multiplied five equals to Sheila has six hands 
each hen laid five eggs. How many eggs did Sheila get all together? Very good. Sheila got 30 eggs all together. There are eight trays. Each tray has three glasses on it. How many glasses are there all together? Well done. There are 24 glasses all together. A car has four tires. How many tires do nine cars have? That's right. Nine cars have 36 tires all together. Hey, hey, congratulations. You've got all the answers right. Thanks, Aisha. From now on, I'll have no more problems with multiplication. You're welcome, Adam. I'm so happy for you. Okay, okay friends, friends, let's, let's sing, sing a, a multiplication, multiplication song, song together. together. Multiplication is counting things in groups Easy as one, two, three Do it and you will see I have six brown bags Each bag has five books How many in total? Six times five equals thirty Multiplication Is counting things in groups Easy as one, two, three Do it and you will see A car has four tires Ten cars have how many? Look at your time table. Ten times four equals forty. Multiplication is counting things in group. Easy as one, two, three. Do it and you will see. Four times three equals twelve. Five times four equals twenty. Three times five equals fifteen. It's so fun and very easy. Multiplication is counting things in group. Easy as one, two, three. Do it and you will see. I forgot the code. I can only enter if I know the code of numbers. Aisha, how can you be so forgetful? Oh, never mind. I help you remember. But you have to solve some multiplication sums to get the code. Agree? Ooh, okay. I love number games anyway. I'm ready. Good. Let's begin. The first sum, what is 2 multiplied 2? Two? 2 multiplied 2 equals 4. Good. Your second sum, what is 3 multiplied 3? Three? 3 multiplied 3 equals 9. Very good. And the third sum, how many is 4 multiplied by 4? Um, 4 multiplied by 4 is equal to 16. Fantastic! Here's your final sum. 5 multiplied by 5. That's easy. 5 multiplied by 5 is equal to 25. Amazing! You may enter. Welcome home. Yahoo! Yeehaw! Yabba dabba doo! Goodbye, friends. 
Hope you'll have as much fun with multiplication as we had. Yeah, and don't forget to memorize your times table, okay? See you soon. Bye. Multiplication is counting things in groups Easy as one, two, three Do it and you will see I have six brown bags Each bag has five books How many in total? Six times five equals thirty Multiplication Is counting things in groups Easy as one, two, three Do it and you will see A car has four tires Ten cars have how many? Look at your time table. Ten times four equals forty. Multiplication is counting things in groups. Easy as one, two, three. Do it and you will see. Four times three equals twelve. Five times four equals twenty Three times five equals fifteen It's so fun and very easy Multiplication Is counting things in group Easy as one, two, three Do it and you will see Multiplication is counting things in groups Easy as one, two, three Do it and you will see I have six brown bags Each bag has five books How many in total? Six times five equals thirty Multiplication Is counting things in groups Easy as one, two, three Do it and you will see A car has four tires Ten cars have how many? Look at your time table. Ten times four equals forty. Multiplication is counting things in groups. Easy as one, two, three. Do it and you will see. Four times three equals twelve. Five times four equals twenty Three times five equals fifteen It's so fun and very easy Multiplication Is counting things in group Easy as one, two, three Do it and you will see